Hey guys, what's going on? Imaginary World here. Today, I just wanted to show you guys some of the different things you can do with the Max for Live LFO MIDI tool. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right in. So first, I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to use with built-in Ableton effects. So actually, to get to it, all you have to do is go to Max for Live, and it's going to be under the MIDI effects. So if you look here, MIDI effects, and then you can use your little search. LFO and then boom and immediately we have a visual representation of what the LFO is doing and you can change the rate here and slow it down and speed it up and do all kinds of stuff it's very fun so by default the LFO is going to be doing nothing right now so if we just play the sound we have as you can hear it's not doing anything so what I am going to do is show you how to map it. It's very simple and make it really easy. You click map and you pick something. All you have to do is click it. And as you can see, there's a visual representation. Something I love about Ableton is a lot of times it is very visual. You have visual feedback of things moving and doing things. And this is a great example of that. So as you can see, our frequency for the cutoff filter is now being modulated by the LFO with exactly these parameters. So if we listen now. And yeah, that sounds great. Um, but from here, you can do a lot of things to mess with it. Uh, one of the first things I want to show you is if we turn on our metronome. As you can see, it's not synced to the metronome. So if you want to sync it, you click this little frequency button, and that's going to switch it to sync mode. And you can really dial it in. So let's say I want it to be quarter notes. So there you go. So then we have it on quarter notes. Um, and then we can go in here and we can actually change what style of LFO we're using. But yeah, from here, let's go ahead and just set this as a uh, down so it's much easier to work with. And then I'm going to show you some of these other controls. We have depth. Which basically controls how far we're, we're moving here. So if we have it at 6%. We're not moving very much. Dial it all the way up to 100%. You're going the whole knob. Now, let's say you dial it down to 6%. And you're like, wow, that sounds really, really good. But I want it to be up here, not down here. Well, that's what this offset is for. So, Or vice versa. You can go the other direction. The phase knob, you can adjust the kind of the timing of it. So if we adjust it like this. You can kind of feel it shifting before or after the beat when you mess with the phase knob. And then these two knobs here are pretty cool. Smooth and jitter. Um, basically smooth. Well, we'll mess with jitter first. So jitter is going to add, so you can already see it when you turn it up. It's going to add some little inconsistencies and if we add let's dial the depth up so we can really see what it's doing here it's kind of adding like some noise into the LFO so if you just dial it up a little bit It's just a way to add some variation. And then smooth is actually just going to do kind of the opposite. It's going to smooth everything out. So we went from like a down ramp sawtooth to now it's when we, when we play it. It's very smooth. And then we dial it back. Very sharp. So other than that, we have the uh, key control stuff here. Um, this is if you're using a MIDI controller, you can set it up so that the LFL uh, triggers on aftertouch and stuff like that so um very cool so yeah so far i've only shown you how to use it on ableton effects but we can actually go a little bit deeper and we can use this on plugins all right so i got decimort pulled up here and i also got an, another lfo midi pulled up and so i want to show you how to map it so if you come over here and you click the map button and you click a knob it's not going to do anything so actually what you have to do is click this little arrow here and if you adjust a knob you can see exactly which one it is. So what you're going to do is you're going to clip, click map, then click that. And there you go. So now if I play it, 
but yeah, basically that's all these same knobs apply and it's still very visual. So if we dial the speed back, you know, the knobs are going to start moving slower. Very cool. Um, this is one of the most powerful tools in Ableton and it's often overlooked. For me, I would put this in the same category as one of my other favorite tools in, in Ableton that I made a uh, video on, is, which is auto pan. Um, a lot of people overlook it they think of it just as a, a panning device. If you haven't checked out my video, um, I'll have a card up there for it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make a video showing the LFO Max for Live tool in Ableton. It's a free tool if you have the Ableton Live Suite version. Um, definitely check this out. You probably already have it on your computer. Definitely give it a try. I think you guys might end up making some pretty cool stuff with it. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for future videos. Let me know down below. But other than that, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day.